Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds. Uh oh. No. No. Now you can start. Now you can start. Whoa, that was a fun little glitch that happened just now. All right. Uh, traipsing mortar. We are. Ooh, I always love a uh, whatever that thing what? is. Ooh, this is a bad place. You are in a bad place. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you are you actually stuck right now? No, uh, go northeast one tile. Now go southeast one tile. Perfect. Now now you're safe. <laughs> you can shoot them now. Famished. Um, livid creepers are really really easy XP because they can only stay on the tile that they're on. Like they can't they can't leave the wall. Um, However, if you actually take them on in melee, they can do some nasty damage. He's not dead. No, he's not dead. Excuse me. You, there's another livid creeper to your... Oh, God. This is, uh, quite the mess. Okay. Um... Oh, there's an ant. Yeah, they're they should be friends. You're you're friends to insects. Uh, I'm more concerned about the one right next to you. Yeah, that's a that was a good move. Okay, cool, good. Oh, you only get. Oh wait, that's a sap. Wet juice sap. This is a juice sap. Oh right, the the bat. Ugh, you are you are no longer chill with the ants. That's fine. Uh, they might actually help you in this instance. You might, you might just like melee, smack them. Like this place is really claustrophobic right now, so good and they lord. Can go down, but we don't know what's there. Uh, we're not in that kind of danger right now. Honestly, the worst thing right now is you being hungry. I can go back up. You could go back to the previous little room. That might be better. That tree's gonna block you. I'm a fan of those ants opening that space up a little bit. Let's eat a meal. We aren't inspired, so we, you may as well just like whip up a meal. But I mean, do we? Do you get to save a rats, and if you're not inspired? No. No. You don't get to save a recipe if you're not inspired. Okay, I thought you just got more choices if you were inspired. No, yeah. No, okay. So I'll just whip, I'll whip up a meal. You can always choose ingredients that you don't care about losing if you want. Like, you can experiment. We've got tons of good stuff to experiment with. But we're good. Well fed. Oh my god. The tree in the way. There is a tree in the way. No. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. That might happen. I'll try to mute myself. No, that's fine. Don't worry. What the... What's up? What happened? I got se semi distracted. You want to switch back it. to your carbide? Why did I move? I don't know. Actually, oh, you might have slipped. No, that's not. It's not a uh, slime. Yeah, you get five hundred XP a pop from these guys. 
I will never not love finding creeper in the ruins. You can you can just melee it. smack that guy if you want. He's being a pain in the butt by uh, hanging out in that corner. Now I know that you took that guy on without taking any damage, but I, I promise you they they can be a, a pain. Can I get that far? Oh my god. Oh, uh, seven. Seven. We found the limit. Seven's my cutoff. Seven is the limit. Quit shooting me. Cut it out. Oh, are we cool again? We're cool, yeah. You're, you're cool with ants. You just had a spat, not not a feud. All right. Uh, do I care to investigate this floor more? Yeah, I mean that's why we're here. We're here to uh, chew bubble gum, find artifacts, and what? oh my god. Oh my gosh. And uh, gain levels. And we're all out of levels and artifacts and gum. So I guess we can leave. God, I hate saps. Saps are just the worst. I kind of wish that there were certain creatures you could set to like, just never ignore this one creature. You can ignore anything else, but just not this one. Markham is rude. Yeah, there you go. Good mod idea. We could do we could do an auto explore. I think we're we're cool. Lots of trees in this floor. It makes me a little bit nervous. It's a great opportunity to get saw handed. But uh, you know, it's all right. I know there's another chest. I'm looking forward to finding out what's in that chest. I see it right there. Carbide plate armor. Ooh, plastic for jerkin is actually quite valuable. But it is 20 pounds. That's gonna put me over. Yeah, it is gonna put you over. Um, did we get put... Did you take shields? I think you uh, did, right? I think I made you take he, shields. He might have been on, on, a, on a timeline that doesn't exist before. Let's have a look at your skills. Oh, you you don't have any uh, skill points, so you might yeah you have shield. Um, so what kind of shield are you using right now? I've got a buckler. Is it a steel buckler? Man, I don't know. It is a steel buckler. It is a steel buckler. Well, um. You could trade up, get rid of that steel buckler and take a steel shield. I think it is one extra AV. All right. You just drop that. It's not worth anything. I guess you have to remove it and then drop it. And that means that, that frees up an arm slot. I'm going to get all kinds of comments about how uh, shields are better in your arm. Save it. I don't care. It's this dumb conversation. Those were three. You just picked up three shields. Oh, I don't need that many. No, definitely not. Why were there three shields together? I don't know. Because cause someone dropped three of them. Drop. Two. Two. Equip. Manual. There you go. On my right hand? Yeah, in your right hand. You can't... The only shields you can wear on your arms are buckler shields. And there's, like, this great annoying debate about shields and how they work on your arms or they... Like, I know people... They work on your arms, but the thing is you can only wear bucklers on your arms. If you wear more than one shield, they do not provide more than the base amount of AV. They just offer more opportunities to block because the AV that shields provide is not guaranteed it's a chance based thing to actually occur so the only time you can block with more than one shield is if someone is attacking you multiple times per round um it's it's an annoying thing because it just like happens i get i get a lot of comments about well oh, you wear a bunch of shields no it doesn't actually help at all at all 
and better shields are just better. Uh, a gold folk shaman's pyrokinesis. Oh, okay, that's good. I thought it was a seed sower. Pyro pyrokinesis is fine. Watch out for that uh, steam, though. We got burned by that once. Yeah, yeah, we got burned. Also, watch out for those mushrooms. You guys are driving me nuts. I'm kind of surprised you didn't encounter the goat folk already. There's another one. Good lord, they're everywhere. Are those chain <sighs> turrets not worth any XP? Wow. I guess we are getting kind of up there. Smack. Oh, <laughs> that, that goat folk really came out of nowhere. Uh, what is that? Take a look. Inside a book. A low, low light, light laser, laser tinker. tinker. Yeah. Um, that's the kind of thing you really want to find in the ruin. And kill? I mean, we can do so, yeah. We can also not. This is where, uh, you know, things get interesting. Oh, God. Okay, I'm out of grenades. You confirmed. are. You are out of um, explosive grenade mark twos. It's fine. It's fine. We're not in immediate danger yet. We are getting there, though. <laughs> we are in. Uh... <sighs> Is equipping things. It takes a turn, but that's fine. All right. Okay. Have a look at your now, grenades. Now, we made some EMP grenades, did we not? We did, yeah. We certainly Those did. Those are good for killing a bunch of turrets, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's equip that. All right. Great. I'm going to... Yeah. Okay. So, um, what just happened there is the EMP... It has a big range, and you got... EMP'd as well. Whoops. Uh, um, and my navigator blooped. Your navigator did bloop, but also what blooped is your negative weight spheres. Um, they mm. technically they technically are uh, powered. You can fight while over encumbered, I think. No. Nope. I can't move though. No, but you can fight your goat folk friend and then right. shoot that turret tinker friend. Um, you have bought yourself some time to think. As soon as the EMP weight wears off, your negative weight spheres will come back. The annoying thing about negative weight spheres is that they actually weigh 10 pounds, um, when they're not powered or when they're not right. functioning. So they, 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 the reverse of their usefulness uh, is true. Okay. So now you're, you're back. We are very close to encumberment. Ouchies. Ouch. I don't like it here. Oh, we didn't want that. You, I was really hoping you were not going to do exactly what you just did. <laughs> well. If you can avoid being adjacent to livid creepers, that, that is... Uh, ideal but you're you're in it now i don't think you'll die you're just gonna take some extra damage all right is there anything else trying to kill me currently yeah there's at least one more turret but you're not in immediate danger cool okay great great uh i think maybe after this floor we might want to recoil to either kya 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 or maybe make a trip to the stilt not not because i'm worried but we're actually close to you know being over encumbered we're hitting our limit just be careful of that mushroom 
I see the writing on the wall of a potential mushroom incident. In incident. Will I automatically avoid it? Uh, if you auto explore. Yeah. Potentially not. It might be good to autom like man. Oh god. <laughs> Manually explore the zone. Twenty damage. Oh, there's a quillipede. A quillipede is helping you, and you're cool with a quillipede. You didn't accidentally shoot them. Unfortunately, I don't think you got credit for killing that uh, livid creeper. That sucks. All right. A little bit worried about that quillipede, not because. Oh, they're they're no longer cool with you. I don't know how that happened. Oh no no no. Okay, we don't want to fight that. Yeah, you want to avoid that as much as possible. Um, let's head up. They're just gonna be annoying this whole time, and it won't let you auto do that because the quillipede is forever gonna stop you. So you're gonna have to do it manually. You can shoot them at distance. That's fine. Actually, yeah, if you shoot them at distance, then cool. Okay. The reason um, reason I didn't have you fight that thing at melee is it said uh, Quillipede and friend to fungi. Mm. And so it was fungled. It was a fungled Quillipede. There's a, there's a potential chance for you to uh, end up getting fungled. And I, I, I'm, I'm starting to feel like... That may be inevitable, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna treat the situation with the appropriate amount of caution. Nice, good stuff. Can I? I can't move. Yeah, you just butchered a leech corpse. We might turn butchering off in the future. You can make a camp and then preserve. There you go. Actually, that bought us a little bit of time, maybe. Mm, we're still too heavy to move. No, just uh, back out. It, nope. it, it needs a, a, a second to think about it. Uh, yeah, so when I toggle butcher corpses at the bottom there. So that'll not no longer automatically butcher corpses. Uh, what is that yellow splat? That's something I don't think I've seen before. Sap-stained leech corpse. Okay. That makes sense. It's yellow because it's sap-stained. That's what's up. This uh, floor is a real menace. But that's... See, it's worth it. Because there's still some livid creepers here. stuff good stuff nice another 500 xp we're very close to level 24 really hoping that level 24 will give us a uh, some attribute points or at least just the one can i no <gasps> you could drop all your sower seeds i didn't realize we were carrying or, or actually why don't you equip those Go ahead and equip those, and we'll start using those. Yeah. Those are those are just high explosive grenades. I was going to say, can I make fungicide grenades? Can I yeah. get rid of these mushrooms you're so afraid of? Um, It's not avoiding the mushrooms I'm afraid of. It's you encountering a creature that happens to have mushrooms, and then us accidentally fighting them. But... Now nah, we're good. Yeah, let's let's not do this floor. Oh, it's still a fungal grove. You can throw a grenade into that pile. Yeah, perfect. Didn't get rid of any of them, but that's fine. 
There you go. Yeah, uh, it's still alive. Good lord. That really, really, uh, dodged all of that. I know, I, I just know that the viewers are like, yes, you know, get fungled. Come on. Let us, let us reach the, the, the fungus portion of the series. It's not happening. These white things are also bad. No, those are, those are fine. Those are dandy. Caps. Oh, they're dandy. It's just the ones that are dripping that we want to avoid. In fact, there's that luminous mushroom is great. We want that. That's the one. We want it. Yeah, it's uh, it's an ingredient actually. Oh, I took it. You did take it. They're quite valuable. Um, and in fact, I mean, so yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Show them a taste of their own medicine. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Throw the seeds back. I don't think he died, but... You know, when goats give you lemon seeds, make lemon seed aid. Um, not all fungus are bad, by the way. Like, uh, there is, there is good things about fungus. And in fact, uh, something I want to do in the future is a fungus run where I just try and get as many fungus infections as possible. Um, it is a lot of fun to be had there. And, uh, ooh, is that a obsidian Chris? It is. Yeah. Um, the problem with fungus is, uh, yeah. Why don't Too heavy. we, why don't we recoil? We'll just recoil with what we've got. Yeah. We can always come back. Recoil and just get rid of some books, and that might put us over. We can, but we can't recoil to six day stilt. What is that? Yeah. Hologram. Oh, I love a hologram bracelet. That's worth keeping. That's actually worth using. Got a lead acid cell. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> Wrist fan is fine. We could, you could disassemble that if you want. So we've got a lot of books and two of them are yellow. Yeah, two of them we actually bought. We'd actually wouldn't mind keeping the Corpus Callias and the Heirlooms of Cud. Maybe, I, I don't know, you could give up the, you could drop a few sower seeds and then recoil out if you want. Uh, okay. Like you don't have to drop a bunch of them. And that way we don't have to like, you know, we could, Recoil to grit gate and then go to the stilt. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I mean. Let us. String tools. Leaf. Tools. Ah, yeah. oh, it's drained. That's, uh, that's the sap's fault. We might. Well, we definitely have some uh, cells we can jam in. Nuclear. Yeah. We do have we a. Take it out again. Yeah, right? we can. We can do that. Nuclear. It's pronounced nuclear. So, grit gate. Yeah, and then uh, six day still. Where? What? There's hostels nearby. Uh, it might be counting the mushrooms. Oh, there it is. There he is. There's the hostile. I found it. Is that another obsidian, Chris? What is that? No, it's a long sword. Okay. Okay. I have, I have a funny feeling it's uh, you are going to get um, recoiler blocked again. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> so Excuse funny. Excuse me, sir. Sir, I'm trying to leave. Sir, this is a Wendy's. 
Anybody else? Probably. I'll wait. <laughs> I don't know why nobody's, that's funny to me. Nobody's coming for me. Have you uh, found a fidget cell yet? No. I I definitely am. I guess I've been waiting for that moment because it's pretty funny. Um, we could right. do some trading here. I'm sure. Like we, you, you have a note of all the tinkering bears, right? Yes. <laughs> I should also. I should copy your notes. I've never thought to do this. The question is, where? Uh oh. Uh oh. No good in any notes if you uh, don't keep them. They're all pretty close by. Maybe. <laughs> this is good. Russell, Russell, Russell. Nope, they're gone. We're going to have to go by memory. Dang. Well, uh, let's start with Darty. <laughs> Unless sure... it's that paper on the floor. <laughs> it wasn't. Okay. Well, Darty it is. A funny feeling Darty is the uh, chef bear. Yeah, it is. We don't need to go to Darty. Uh, you know a terrible what? Mistake. Let's um let's do go to Q Girl first because she usually has some gems. Although I don't know if she renews that those goods, and I'm pretty sure we sold them, so I'm not sure. Q Girl is not primarily a uh, merchant. Nope. Yeah, we sold those ogre pelts to her. She didn't renew. All right. Next on the list. Also, I'm going to say that the feather chain gauntlets, though, though the reasoning was good, I don't think is going to be worth it to us, to be honest. Because we're already Gordon's, friends uh, to birds. Well, we could be more friends with birds. We could, but I, I've never found that to be very useful. This is the drink guy. Oh, we can at least look at that engraving. Haven't we already done that? We already think it's new. I'm hoping that these are renewed goods. So it might be a new engraved umber frock. Nope. Nope. Or if it is, we already knew that. We already knew that. Get out of here with this old news. Don't want to sell them anything? No. We want to find uh, someone who has stuff we want to buy first. But he's got some tiny trinkets. <laughs> Isipa. He's got some tiny trinkets. What, is what are these trinkets from a trinket box? You're hopelessly looking for those notes, aren't you? No. Yeah. <laughs> like, please don't make me talk to all the bears. I just want to buy... No. Well, well, um... Well... Technically, they have some bits. We could buy those... We've got a one. We yeah, like ones. We like ones. Let's buy a one. Let's buy a one. He was number one, Mr. Krabs. Perfect. It was what are we getting hat. rid of? Uh, nothing. We just want to get rid of the water. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of the one. No, we we want Ooh, the one. Ooh, a force modulator. Yeah, it's an implant. Uh, I think we sold that to him actually. <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> because <clears throat> wow, that lets us go through force fields, which has basically no use as far as I know. Neek. He's right there. I think he's the, the oh. one with a crew cut. Yeah. Your hair is so rectangular. He's like Guile. Da -da 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 -da. You know, that guy. Mm-hmm. That Guile. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. 
Um, we could buy that gold pig farmer figurine. The problem oh. with that is it's not very valuable. Like it's, I know it's three hundred and sixty whatever, but the problem is is that it's not a trade good. It's just valuable, and so we won't get that much money when we sell it. We'll get like maybe two thirds of that. Okay. Still, um, I, I think we should probably find the other tech bears before we... Um, Jacobo is the seller of data? Okay, Question yeah. mark scheme. You found your notes? I did find my notes. Oh my god. <laughs> Jacobo. Jacobo. Ba, 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 ba. Wake up. You have so many data disks. Um, hmm. Can I ask you, you can. to go, on. go into your journal? Uh, never mind. Okay. I see. I, I'm. I'm confusing your playthrough with my playthrough. I thought maybe. No. Stop, stop this. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you. Um. I thought maybe you had a Beetle that was looking for phase. Phase goods. Um. No, we've met one Beetle and he wanted a crab. Wanted, we had oh, killed yeah, and butchered all the corpses. But we killed was, and butchered all those craves. But uh, that was in a playthrough that did no longer exists. Or that may have been an alternate timeline. They yes. were in a Bethesda Sousa. They were in a Todd Howard Among Us. Oh, I don't understand. All right. Um, he doesn't really have anything we want. What's our next bear? Um. Potenza's liquid, Jacobo's seller of data, Mafeo is bullets, Neek is miscellaneous, Ortho is quest bear, Darty is chef. Those are all the bear notes I have. Really? There's more than one data bear. What about um, Spare Fusile? Or Esepa? We didn't get to them that time. Oh. We found what we had wanted. Oh. And stopped visiting bears. Well, let's talk to Spare Fusile. I'm pretty sure that they are a tech bear. Yeah. They've got Adding a, it to the list. They've got a one bit. Um, they also have a... Uh, we don't really want to get rid of our Firefly. They have Masterwork. We could get Masterwork. Um, yeah, buy Masterwork in that one bit. Airfoil is fine, but I've kind of talked about how much of a pain in the butt it is. Do we... We don't know scoped, right? We just... I think we do. I mean, we can check. I know we don't know Masterwork. I know that much. And it's just a good mod. Like, applying it to, like, any weapon is just a benefit. Um, let's get rid of... Let's get rid of the Feathered Steel Gauntlets. I I mean, okay, you, if you really, like, if you're really... No, no, I don't... I've already lost interest. All right. Let me just look at it one more time. Yeah. Did that on purpose. Here we go. Let's, let's, uh, admire their craftsmanship before we get rid of them. Um... Get Do rid you of still think I need this? I think it's worth keeping because if you get enough goat folk rep, then it can put you over the line, and then you don't have to deal with goat folk as much. Um, okay. Uh, let's get rid of some daggers. I think you could get rid of the wrist fan if you want, but it's good bits. We want the books. We want to hand in the books. Let's get rid of the spiral borer. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
All right. Uh, flooding glow sphere. Yeah, we can get two? rid of like one of those. That'll be more than it? more than we need. Yeah, go ahead and look at it. That's enough. Listen, enough. You can't just randomly decide that space doesn't matter anymore. What are you talking about? I just I keep thinking that I want to press space to like select it once. <laughs> I know it's not, but I'm going to do that every time. So I'm just going to sell it like this. Yeah, because we like we want to get rid of the other stuff, but we need to find someone who want who has stuff we need. Like you could buy their bits if you want to just like shed all of our weight. We can always use more bits, but like you know, I'm of the mind that we'll get more bits in time anyway. Hover sled. Hover sled is cool, but it's tinkering too. I'm pretty sure, and also it takes your floating spot. Yeah, but we're gonna get tinkering too by the end of the day. Yeah, but then you want to get rid of your symbiotic firefly. Yeah, f the bugs. No. Oh, yeah. Um. You can. All right. No. 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 It it is really nice carrying capacity. I will say. I know you just told me airfoil's not worth it, but let me... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. Yeah. I do love throwing further. Yeah, but, like, imagine modifying every grenade with that. Well, I would do it off camera. Yeah. Off, off video. Oh. Um, anyway, no, that's fine. It's fine. You can. I won't stop you. Ooh, I might do it. No, it's fine. Um, like I do like throwing further, though. For me, it's like if you're gonna do it, uh, you maybe modify a couple of each grenade that you really know you're gonna use, and then maybe. But like, oh god, I it's just the the, the paramount task of modifying more than ten things. Oh, and then the bits you need to make it all happen is... Oh, so oh. Oh. I'm tired just thinking of it. All right, so we're done here. We're done here. And There's one more visit. bear. Um, Isepa? Did we talk to Isepa? I don't even... Is Isepa? Isepa, yeah. Talk, we don't, I don't, uh, he's, yeah, he's right in front of you. I wish to know more about you. No, we already talked to him. Okay. All right, let's, let's go to six day stilt. So a sip is just random? Just general goods, I guess. Um, yeah, he's like, it's bits and food. Uh, no, I don't need any of your bits. I don't need any of your bits. I don't need any of your bits. Let's go to the other place. Yeah, we'll probably do some more inventory management between episodes. And see. Um, we'll probably be level 24 in the next episode because uh, I foresee that we will just hand in our books and level up. And um, we may be able to learn tinkering too at that point which would be good certainly save us a lot of uh trouble like the thing is um for the spiral bore is it really just kind of um shortcuts through the trolls so we don't have to do the trolls um but i still think bethesda susa itself is like worth checking out i'm going i'm going here right yeah you're going there Lost. Oh my gosh. You, yep. Oh my gosh. Eh, it's fine. We'll get through this. Don't I have a thing that stops that from happening? What? Getting lost? Yeah. Your precinct navigator makes it less likely to happen. Um, I think it's mostly skewed for finding ruins, though. Uh, however, the thing that really stops this from happening is taking wayfaring, um, for each biome, which is a lot of skill points that we don't necessarily want to spend. And, you know, 
truth be told, we're we're okay getting lost in flower fields. It's a bit spicy, but not it's not something we can't handle. Especially when I have a sniper rifle with two bullets. Oh, I was hoping we'd get some XP for that. <laughs> the problem with flower fields is nothing we can we kill here is worth any XP. Oh, okay. So that dust there we want to avoid. I do have a mask on. Uh, I mean, as long as you don't enter the same tile as that stuff, you're good. The, the mask is good, but it's not guaranteed. That honey badger really took one for the team there. I don't think it ended up killing that law, which is really annoying. Because now it's still there and, and now we can't see it. Oh, there's some luminous shroom. I guess, uh... I'm guessing that the... I thought we were friends to cats. Not quite. We were friendlier with cats. Can't pet it. <laughs> well, we're going to have to kill that one, I'm afraid. Um, there was something on this tile that died that had the fungal infection that makes you grow luminous horse shrooms. One of my favorite fungals, actually, because it's just free money. Alrighty. This is, um, quite the hectic tile we've got going on. I know you see the witchwood bark, but we've got enough. <laughs> I'll tell you when we've had enough. <laughs> we've got enough. All We're right. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> that amoeba really, really wants to die. You gave it every opportunity to live. <sighs> Pig bear. Skunk. Okay, we are no longer lost. Oh, nice. No, no getting lost. So we'll end it there uh, a little bit longer of an episode than than we would maybe prefer. But uh, in any case, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. And uh, and what else? Tell us about... No, the fish was last episode. Tell us about fish anyway. Tell us about your favorite fish. Or bear. Or flower. Not bears. I hate bears. Tell us about your favorite cat in Caves of Cud. Or out. Send us pictures of your cats. Don't do that. Nah, do that. Yeah, why not? Okay, bye. Bye.